Hi guys, camping in queue here with a, uh, another little video for you. This one's going to be about making fire out in the bush. A number of ways to make fire out in the bush. How do you do it? Well, of course, you have matches. You have your lighters. There is also my favourite, of course, the fire steel. You have friction, you have electricity. There's a heap of ways to light a fire. Each one has its pluses and minuses. Okay, there is another way. A less practical way, but a cooler way to do it. How do you do it? You head yourself off to your chemist. You get yourself some potassium permanganate, which here in Australia, it's also known as Condi's crystals. Exactly the same thing. What this is, is a little purple crystal. It'll look black there, but it's actually purple. Okay. Now, you can use this to light a fire. Apparently, I'll say apparently, I'll tell you why in a sec. Apparently, if you mix this with sugar, and I've never had any luck with this, but you mix it with sugar, and then you grind it up with uh, some friction. I've tried using a stick, I've tried using a rock. I've even heard the little popping noises they say you're supposed to hear. It will not light. Absolute disappointment. So, what do you do? Still use that. I'm going to get the chemist buy some of this. I asked for glycerin, they gave me glycerol. Apparently, it's basically it's the same thing and it, it does work. You mix about a half a teaspoon of that or so with a mil, mil and a half of that. Give them a quick stir with a twig or a toothpick and then you wait. Now, it's supposed to be temperature dependent. It has to be at least 21 Celsius for it to work. Up here in North Queensland, that's not an issue. So, but apparently it's something to think about. So, you can take these bush. So how do you do it? Obviously, you don't want to take that bush. You don't want all that. You go onto a geocaching supply store online. There's heaps of them. Get yourself some bison tubes. These are aluminium, O-ring seal, one for each, screw them down nice and tight, drop it in your fire kit. It freaks people out when they see this done, a chemical fire, because it's not something you normally think about. So anyway, that's how you do it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves set up. We're going to go get Shirley out. We're going to try and find a not too windy spot in the backyard and we'll see how we go. It'll be interesting because I've done this quite a few times. It's failed once or twice. Even the times it's worked, it has taken from under a minute to 10 minutes to actually work. So I have no idea. I'm still learning anyway. But what the hell I thought I'd show you because, like I said, practical? No, not at all cool hell yes all right so let's uh go and get shirley out and we'll give it a go see how it works for us this time one thing i forgot to mention in take number two that i mentioned in take number one because this is harder to do than i ever thought it would be but anyway potassium permanganate or condi's crystals according to bob cooper it used to be uh, supplied to the sas in their pocket type survival kits. I don't know whether it still is, but back when he was involved in this kind of stuff, it was. Now, Condi's crystals or potassium permanganate is used for a couple of things. It's used as an antiseptic to clean wounds and so on. You put some of the crystals in water, dissolve it out and away you go. You can also purify your water with this stuff. Now, obviously there's much easier ways to do this these days, but you can use that. A couple of crystals, the water is a light pink colour and you leave it for, I suppose, half an hour, hour or whatever and it kills all the little nasties in there. So it's useful stuff. If you can deal with the taste, I don't imagine it tastes that great, but anyway, what does? So anyway, that's what it was used for and I'm um, sorry I forgot to mention that before. Alright guys, here we are. Now, just about ready to go. I'm sorry you're going to hear a bit of 
wind noise in the microphone. It's a windy day, there's not much I can do about it. I've got my potassium permanganate there. I've got my glycerin or glycerol ready to go, about one half mils, near enough. Now, one thing with this, it's gonna give off quite a bit of smoke, don't breathe it in. Apparently it's not good, it's an irritant. And the dog wants to see him on the act. All right, let's give it a go. And we'll see how long it takes. A little bit of a mix around. And we'll see if this works. Uh, here we go, that was pretty quick. Well, we're getting a look. Ah, there's the flame, that's what we want to see. As you can see, that flame's lasting for quite a while. You put that under some dried leaves or dried grass, you're not going to have any problems. And it's finished. Alright, now, because I'm just experimenting, I've left it on some aluminium foil just for ease of cleanup. But that in there is quite hot now. You don't want to touch that. It'll cool down fairly rapidly. But uh, that's it. So, that's chemical fire with potassium permanganate and glycerol. If you're going to muck around with it, remember, be careful.